We're gearing up in our trailer to do some boondocking so that we can have some of the comforts of home. We recently purchased a Honda 2200 generator and a Rotopax gas can. Today, Doug is placing a locking mounting bracket on our Stromberg Carlson trailer tray so that we can lock up the gas can. Hi, I'm Kristen and you're watching Travels and Travails. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to install a Rotopax fuel canister on our Stromberg Carlson trailer tray so we can safely carry fuel for our generator that we use for um, boondocking and AC use. The Rotopax fuel can is, is made to go on the back of like uh, Jeeps or off-road vehicles so it's very sturdy. It can be mounted horizontal or vertical or even upside down and it won't leak. After some uh, trial fitting, it looks like the best way this is going to fit is to mount it horizontally on the front of the trailer. So this is the Rotopax mount that I'm going to actually put on the trailer to hold the gas can. It goes like so and you can turn it and lock it. We're going to mount this onto the original support for the trailer tray. So in order to do that, I actually bought a Rotopax bracket, L bracket, and I'm going to replace the Stromberg Carlson bracket with the Rotopax bracket. That way we can go ahead and put the fuel can retainer on there. The only modification I had to make to the Rotopax bracket was to drill a couple of additional holes, and that's to secure it to the upright for the front of the trailer tray. And so in order to secure this to the underside of the trailer tray, this normally goes underneath, I'm gonna, once I know the position, I'm gonna turn it upside down and set it on this way so I will so I can mark the holes that I have to pre-drill for this mounting hardware. It essentially goes like this. This br bracket normally uses four bolt, uh, carriage bolts and nuts to hold it down. What I wanted to do is put an extra bolt in the middle and that will help lock it so when the gas can's in place you cannot get to the head of this bolt to take it off if somebody wanted to steal it. To make this a little bit more theft resistant, I added a nut and a bolt in the middle. These are the normal four that hold the bracket on. This one in the middle, um, you cannot get to the head of the bolt from once the gas can's in place. So if somebody were to come up here with a socket and turn it, they couldn't hold the other side so it would just spin freely. These long bolts are the ones that came in the trailer tray kit, which for this application was really quite long. And instead of cutting them off, I actually went and bought shorter bolts. 
which are six inches, but I still wanted them to be a little bit long. That way if somebody were to try and unbolt this to steal it, it would take additional time to get all the extra threads loose. This is the theft deterrent screws and brackets that came with the Rotopax Universal L bracket. And once you get this on, it would be difficult for someone to steal it because the screw heads are going to be covered by the fuel tank, which is lo locked in place. And then there's no way to get a socket or a wrench on the top. 